because of how digital the world is now with you know just emails and websites and pay to plays and all these things yeah. i think to me if you can find a way to make a human connection get a real conversation with someone that has nothing to do with voiceover yeah that's going to mean even more uh when it comes time down the line when they say you know i met you at this conference or this mixer or this social event and we really hit it off and i think i finally have something on my desk that i think you'd be good for would you like to read for it right sure absolutely so once i started doing that and i started to see it work please i'll never change like that is yeah i mean now yes i have you know agents in la and new york and i work with like in the uk and all across the united states right to this day my best work comes from people that i met and yeah. that eventually after meeting them and seeing them and kind of chipping away hey i'm still here sending them an email hey how's your son doing you know yeah. whatever then that led to the stuff where i didn't have to audition for it it was right. basically mine to not screw up um they said hey if you want it read this give me three takes and if the client likes it it's yours instead of you know your usual thing where you send an email underscore donovan c right right you know that whole thing um so yeah i don't think it's changed at all except for i do it more it means more now i think yeah. the fact that we're having this interview right now i'll never forget joe murphy now you know right. what i mean and hopefully you will always have at least some sort of memory of donovan because we had a time you know i had a one-on-one -on -one yeah. conversation and just take that and make it face to face now, yeah, maybe people's schedules are busy and stuff. You got to find the right time and place. You can't just, you know, walk into someone's yeah. office. But yeah, I think human connection will always be a direct, a more direct way to to get whatever it is you're looking for, yeah. whether it be voiceover or anything else. Yeah, even just five minutes of talking to you, I know you much better, obviously, than seeing your your voiceovers on Instagram. Like I can, I right. just see a little snippet of you, but now. It's just, so I guess the more conversations you can have with people, the better. It's not a new concept, but <laughs> it still yeah. works. Yeah, it, it almost feels like a, you know, I tell people, it's like, hey, what was the biggest secret to, you <laughs> yeah. know, going from only doing your local stuff to being on, you know, TBS and whatever else? Yeah. It was, I went out and met people. I said, you know what? Me sitting at home in my studio, sending off MP3 files, it's like nobody's business isn't working i'm not i do okay with auditions but i've never been an audition superstar my booking right. rate is not that great it never has been mm -hmm. um it's a little bit better now because i kind of have a little reputation with some clients right. but man i used to go months without a booking from a, an audition i said this isn't working i got to do something else yeah and so i said okay let's go back to what, how i started it let's meet people let's go out i want to shake the hand of the guy or the lady that's saying that guy not that guy right. right so if they know me already they like me it's easier for them to say hey, you know what i'll give donovan a shot he was a right. nice guy he was cool let's try it you know yeah. rather than me being mp3 file number 56 out of right. 120. so, so yeah, no, yeah i've noticed I, I think it's extremely important go ahead no finish. you can finish oh no i was gonna say it's extremely important to to tap into what is at our core, like how humans like to interact. I mean, people right. can be shy and stuff, but I mean, meeting someone and, and shaking a hand and getting to know someone beyond what they do for a living, I think it, it means everything. And it's, yeah. it's meant the world to me and my career. And it took me from, you know, where I was before to, to where I am now and where I will be in the future. Yeah. And so how do you think, at least for me, I know that, um, I can just use you as an example, just reaching out, hey, would you be available to do an interview? And you immediately respond, of course. So it's, I think that I found the voiceover professionals seem to be so receptive to help anytime you ask for it. So how do you think the, um, like the producers and the people who are, are choosing the voice actor, is it as receptive as the voiceovers themselves? Um, well, I can't speak for them amongst themselves, but as far as with them with regard to vo talent right the trick is the right time and right place yeah um so to give you an example and a little insider tip here so okay i would say go to conferences where there are producers mm -hmm. um so i go to a couple of them every year where the actual conference is for pro tv promo producers and 
um, oh. affiliate network promo producers. Because when <laughs> I started to get into voiceover and started to get some commercial jobs and radio and stuff, I said, you know what? I want to do TV promos. Like I want yeah. promos. I want that to be like my bread and butter. Of course, yeah, every guy wants to do a movie trailer. <laughs> I knew it wasn't realistic. But so I said, you know what? Let's start with TV. So I found out about this conference where you can go and it's, it's essentially for them, but you know, there are a lot of VO talent there that are kind of selling their wares. And so I went where they are. And so during this conference, it's not really, you know, it's not a, a conservative, you know, tight knit everyone with a suit. I mean, it's a really lighthearted thing where people are kind of have their guard down. You know, right. and people are willing to to talk to anyone because that's what they're there for. They're there to network and right. learn. And so, yeah, you know, I can go up to somebody and shake their hand. They see a name badge. They say, "Oh, Donovan, hey, you know, you know, where where are you from?" And I tell them. They say, "What do you do?" I say, "Oh, you know, I do I do voiceover." Oh, really? Well, what have you done? And then now I've you know now we've established a rapport. Yeah. And I can talk to them without it being you know I'm trying to get them in the lobby of their office building or. Right you know, trying to cold call them while they're in the middle of sweeps week or something like that. Right, they, right. Not only do they not have the time, but I'd probably just piss them off because like, yeah. who is this guy annoying me when I'm trying to get work done? <laughs> but if you get them in a relaxed setting, yeah. you know, there's, there's no reason for them to not at least talk to you. You know, they might say, uh, you know what, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in, in, in that. They kind of treat you like maybe a, a used car salesman or something. Right. And that's fine. You can't please everyone, but mm -hmm. the overwhelming majority are willing to at least open a conversation with you. Yeah. And then once you have that, the rest is up to you to just build that rapport. And you don't have to hammer into their head that you do voiceover or that you want them to hire you. Yeah, they know that. They know that they're a producer and you're a voiceover and they know how that works. So you don't have to say, by the way, this is my voice. And this is what, you don't have right, to do right. that. Just be two professionals sharing an experience. And then eventually down the line, yeah, maybe you can work together. And yeah. so, that would be like the biggest tip I can give people as far as networking is networking at the right time, right place. Um, marketing, like uh, your local marketing groups, your AIGA, um, AMA, these different marketing groups that are all over the country. Yeah. They always have mixers. They have social events. They have luncheons. They aren't usually very expensive to join, to be a member. And then once you're there, now you're in, you know, you're in this relaxed setting with maybe, you know, based on your market size, 30, 50, or 600 people, or 2,000 people, whatever, that could all be potential clients. Right. And that's how you can kind of break through that wall of, well, how do I talk to a producer? And I don't want to yeah, get yeah. rejected by a producer. Well, A, you go to them when they're not in work mode. And right. two, you do it in a really relaxed, just starting a conversation way. Instead of selling yourself, introduce yourself. 